I was going to shave my face. Introducing Jarrett, aka Jerry. <laughs> Your lens was a little cockeyed. Yeah, but I really should have got a water bottle out before I did all that. Guess we'll wait a while. Yay! Oh! Heavy coming in. Heavy. Hey, I'm Gucci. Everybody else good? We got everything? We got a new guy in camp, Mr. Matt. Staying on the same elevation, we're going fast. <laughs> we have to stay on the same elevation. It's like your sweater vest. Thank you. <laughs> it's a cape black. <laughs> yeah, I'm Superman right now. Everyone knows the famous black. Tell them what's going on, Black. How far are we from camp? What we're doing? I don't know. All I know is we're at Crocker Barrel and uh, I'm getting fueled up for the hunt tonight. And yeah, if we get back and get set up, get ready to go. And in this corner, we have Tranny Master Kev. He's right here. Oh, he's right there, boys. He's right there, Kevin! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Kevin! Baby! That's a stun, baby! <laughs> we are officially a half an hour away from camp. We just stopped at Cracker Barrel to get a nice break. And as always, the regular map. Breakfast. Everybody's just getting checked out. That's right. Black and Matt are in there getting their check. We'll be on the road shortly. Little campers loaded down. We got deer to kill. That's what Kevin and I just both look <laughs> up at this big old tower there, son. <clears throat> I feel better. Can't wait to get back to camp and poop. <laughs> we have officially broke ground we've made it to camp um we actually made really good time this morning left a good time we got in uh we are setting up the camper we're gonna sleep in the camper we are going to use the airbnb um, some of the other guys are going to stay in that, but I'm going to take a minute. They're, uh, they're getting some things set up, and I'm going to take you in real quick and show you the Airbnb where some of the other guys are going to sleep, and we just kind of use this as a hub for hanging out with everybody. Where's the switch? It's got a pretty nice garage. Garage doors, we got cornhole, we got a table, area to hang coats and stuff, put on your boots, some storage, and then into the main house. Place is pretty slick, to be honest with you. Nice big kitchen, we've used this to podcast previous. Um, Couches, lounge chair, and then out front here we have, let's see if you can see it, big pond. We got a fire pit area to have a fire, porch with some chairs, killer view. And then we have just one big bedroom right here, and the old bathroom and shower and laundry facilities if needed but yeah this is just we just kind of use this place as a hub everybody to get together and eat dinner talk about what we saw 
game plan about what we're going to do the rest of the week uh, and just share camp. How many guys does it take to unload a kayak? Six or seven. Two and one to watch. <laughs> you guys are doing great. <laughs> what a paint. What a foreman. Like going into action. Careful now. Don't hit the window. Don't she, hit the window. She, she's new. Well, where's Maddie? Trying to make him nervous. Where's he at? Oh, he's right there. Dang it. What you I heard you. What you doing? We're getting the old power hooked up. So I'm about to make a $300 mistake. That'd be fun. I'm going to use those in the AM. In three, two, one, lift off. Stealing Maddie. Well... We're not even 10 minutes into the trip, and or I should say into camp, and the old uh, the old general purpose breaker keeps tripping, which I believe is lighting. So I might just, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna tear this apart and see what it looks like. But somebody redid the wiring on this camper before I bought it. And it's pretty jank. Here you go. Those are all neutrals. The hots should come into here. Well, it wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be camp if something didn't need to get fixed so we're just gonna we're just gonna get this one out of the way just fix it then we'll be done unfortunately it's not as easy as the old heat up the screwdriver and, so and re-solder re the so what's going on there Maddie? <laughs> well it's gonna be about 120 degrees this week <laughs> and our, our AC is not working but there's a bad connection on this board, right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we're gonna solder it. But we don't got anything to solder it with, so we got a screwdriver and a jet boil. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully it works. Please, we need you to run. Because <laughs> it's already getting hot in here. Yeah, it is. Did you get it? No. no, I was waiting. Okay, so when I grab it, I gotta go towards the bottom. Man. <laughs> you kill that radio, Kevin. Power button. Just in case a song comes on. Yeah. Right side. Get copyrighted on the old YouTube. What's <laughs> <laughs> that one right there? Gotta get a red. It's gonna. That thing's gonna be hot. You want me to turn it up a little bit? Yeah, crank that baby. Let's heat this. Oh! oh. There we go. More of a flame. <laughs> it's getting real I'm like, I'm like there, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot, hot. A little bit, yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. Hey, <laughs> she's running! She's running! 
Hey, the old hit. Look at the end of that sucker. Sorry, Stevie. Your screwdriver's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any extra wire in there, Matt? Like, in back in the back? So I can go steal a light from in there and we can use that as a test lamp, maybe? Walmart is absolutely insane today. Super busy. Heading back to camp. Just got done grabbing a bunch of tools that I forgot at the house. So, hopefully we can get this camper figured out. But Walmart is popping. Happen. There's people everywhere. Crazy. I rode with Jared. <laughs> yeah, I <would> too. <laughs> you should have seen the dirty looks from people we were getting driving down the road. <laughs> so currently, what's going on is we hooked up 240 to the camper and we blew up the inverter. So we have no DC power. We have no lights. We have no AC. So what we're doing is we're jumper and stuff. We're gonna see if it works. Give it a test, mate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That, that propane next to sparks. Oh, it's all safe, Black. You worry too much, son. You live the <laughs> sheltered life. What you got, Matt? Hey! hey! <laughs> I hear the AC. <laughs> yeah. I judge, you, I judge you old, man. We need a battery. That's worth it. You can't make this stuff up, guys. Camper wiring is an absolute disaster, but we got it figured out. Um, I accidentally sent 240 to my 120 inverter in my camper and essentially everything DC now will not work. But don't worry, we got the Jackery plugged in and she's hardwired into everything DC. <laughs> So that way we can have the old AC. DC equals AC. <laughs> so now I had to run to Walmart because I forgot all my tools at home to get this cheap voltmeter, some wire knots, strippers. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> That's about all you can say. <laughs> She's running. She's running. So I end up sticking around camp to make sure the camper is 100% fixed, get it going while the rest of the guys go out and hunt the first evening. Kevin and Matt ended up pulling an SD card camera that we've had soaking over a food source since late summer. I, 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 figured, I figured it had to have been close. Yeah. You think there's gonna be a big one on there, Matt? We hope. You think old Matty messed up and put it on video mode instead of picture mode? I mean, I know he did. It's definitely <laughs> on video mode. But it lit up. Yeah, it lit up when we walked well, past it. Well, it should have had battery then. So then it had battery. Go go, I was gonna bottom. say, go to the last one. Yep. Shoo! Boy, this is gonna be on there, son. <laughs> it had, it... Come on, so Burr. Just go, just go to the beginning. What have we seen? As a shooter. a shooter, I'll kill it. So. <laughs> Keep going. There's got to be a big one in there somewhere. Oh, that's it. That's that just... same one. I mean, that's a good deer. Oh, look, it's Matt. <laughs> How? So when was this? Like not very long ago. This one. Was... That was today. This or morning. Last night. Yeah. Yeah. That. Oh, they're in there. It's just a matter of figuring Tired. out Tired. where they're yeah. coming from. I'll tell you, with this weather, wow. So it's one like. of daylight now, it'll be tough. Yeah, coyote. Yeah, it's like. There's gonna be a hog on there sooner or later. Not like that guy? Like that one? That's a different deer. Has he got a split? He's got a beam. He's got a another beam third, coming out. Yeah. Oh, go back to that, Kev. Zoom, just, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's Unicorn. Yeah. yeah, right? That's, that'd be a nice steer to get. Shoo! Oh, awesome. fuck! Daddy's home! <laughs> That's a different deer. Look at these deer, son. We got some bigs. Keep going. He's making us. Just keep going until you see a hog. There's a good one. Sure, ring for something. 
Shit. Look at that. He's funky. Dude, look at that That's guy. Weird. Look at the look at the body on that deer. I remember it did that before. Holy! Look, go back, dude. Look at the body on that thing. Holy! Look <laughs> at the neck and the face on him. 26 p.m. That's almost. The that's closer. an hour. Yeah. yeah. That's the 15th. That's closer. There's a little guy. Wait, what number was that, Kev? Oh, I guess I just want to save that. 146. Beam guy. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Kyle. 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 Oh, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> That's that big That's deer, isn't it? Big deer. That's yeah. just him face on. Yeah. Go back. Go back. Go That's back. just him face on. Go yeah. back. Jamie, <laughs> Christmas, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, man. That's a freak. We That's a freak. Tips. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11 at night. That's him again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I got to take my pack. Good Lord, have mercy. I can't see a thing. <laughs> it's like looking at the sun. Alright guys, this is like plan D for the morning. So plan A, there's another guy in there. So we left that spot. He wasn't very happy we were there. Public ground, buddy. We uh, seen you were in the parking lot and we were turning around and he approached us and was not very happy we were there. So bounced around, plan B. Just didn't work with the parking arrangements. So here we are, anyhow. Waited till daylight to get in. We're gonna hike in. There's some standing crops up on top. Kind of this big valley here. So we're gonna just still hunt our way in. Set up on good sign if we find any. Got a camera if need be. But. Uh, it looks pretty good on a map, but we just wanted to wait till daylight to walk in and see what's going on. Got a little wishing well. Alrighty, well, found this good tree here. And on this bench right off this point up here and there's a lot a lot of acorns dropping so there's some hickory trees down here that are all over the place good acorns up in through here and it's pretty flat right here so I'm gonna get up in this tree probably the squirrels are down and everywhere I'm gonna get up in this tree I did bounce two or three does from this spot, so they uh, just kind of bounded off. They didn't really know what I was. There's a lot of leaf, a lot of leaf cover, so I wasn't too worried about it. So my wind's perfect. I got a north wind that's gonna be pushing down. My thermals are still pulling down, so I might get up in this tree, get set up, hunt for a few hours.
Get a ton of penetration. I okay, hit him high. Let's see if somebody answers. I just hit one. Huh? I just hit a good buck. You just shot a good buck? Yeah, I didn't get good penetration though. So, I was getting ready to pack down and I put my big camera down in my pack and I just glanced up. Dude, he came right into 30 yards. I think black and then bumped him, but I, I don't. What you, where'd you hit him? High somewhere, I think in the net. He was facing me. I think it hit him a little high in the neck. Well, I'm I'm just I'm gonna go look for blood at the shot, and then I'm just I'm gonna call Black and tell him to back out. I think. Yeah, just take your time. Yeah. Oh. We, oh Kevin. Dude, he's a good one. I, he's big. I mean. How big? One thirty. Well, that's doable. Oh yeah. And, uh, we need to see if there's first blood and then honestly just I'd leave up again yeah. and leave. Yeah, no, well, I'm try to try, try to avoid where he went, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go look, drop a pin, and I'm I'm gonna call Black and have him meet me back at the truck. Dude, <sighs> I'm shaking my How much penetration did you get? Not much. Right. So here's where here's where the deer is standing. I was in this tree right here, that smaller one. So, not too far from the initial shot. And all this. Some good blood. Looks like there's some, I don't know, it looks good. Looks like there's some bubbles in there, but it's hard to tell. I'm not gonna go any farther. I see you went down in through here. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna try my best to get a hold of Black and Matt, and uh, back to the truck because I'm not 100% happy with the shot. It's a little high, so I just want to back out. Give him time, we'll get the guys, we'll come back in and we'll do some tracking. So, oh man, the roller coasters of deer hunting, man, up and down. I was getting ready to get down and and uh, still hunt this bench and look for sign because it was just that point in the day where I'm like, nothing, nothing's really gonna come happen my big camera down a couple other things put it in my pack and I happen to look over down here and here comes a big body deer real dark so I just gave him a couple a couple double takes seen it was a good buck and then he just made his way right up to me I don't think he was gonna come any closer I thought he was gonna go up just by his attitude so yeah Just looking at all the blood right now. Thinking, just you replay this in your mind over and over and over, and it's man, I don't know. Highs and lows, that's for sure. But I'm gonna get back to the truck. It is 8:55 right now. Shot happened at 8:24. 
so yeah where is he what are you smiling about i opened the door <laughs> these boys sleeping in here that's about a bunch of bums. I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. hey, look. Look at this. He's in pajamas. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to change real <laughs> quick. So, stop tracking a deer. That's what you think he looked like? No. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like so, I'm going to pass out. Is that what, how you shot him? Except face on? Except it's on the other side. And it might be a little bit higher than that. But you were in a tree. Yeah. So that's, I'd rather have you higher than lower. Yeah. I just, I've been playing it back in my mind all day. I have lights on and I just, I still don't feel good about it, but. Look at my buck I killed in Kentucky. Yeah. That was worse placement than that, and the old boy went 40 yards. Yeah. And trust me, you all, we, Jerry and I were talking about this in the tree. You always think. The worst, worst case yeah. scenario because you see them flushing and you're like I got no penetration because you're wanting to pass through yeah but in reality like I had fletching sticking out this much but I also had a foot and a half of arrow in the deer yeah you know yeah so I got it pulled up of the actual impact on the shot Dude, he was talking to me and less than five seconds later Listen to this shot though. You got it on GoPro. Like, you think you hit, I hit a limb and then it smacks a deer. That's a big pop. That's big pop, it was That's loud. That's a big smack. Okay, slow it down. That's a big pop. Yeah. There's multiple clicks there. Yeah. There's a click before the arrow pops. So I think it went through a small tree, like hit some, uh, dude, that was so jacked up afterwards. I think he had some branches going through, but it was like, here's a branch, and here's him, and I had a big opening. So, like, it would have just nicked some leaves or something, but I don't remember that in the moment. It sounds good. You don't hear that diaphragm pop, mm -hmm. but... But you shouldn't with a frontal shot. You're going to hear whatever goes through first before it's a diaphragm. Yeah. But, I don't know. Okay, we're back at the parking lot here. We gotta walk down a couple hundred yards to where I came out. It's just an easier walk. Nice convenient place to park. So we're gonna walk on the road, get up in the woods where I shot them, and then we'll show these guys the scene of the crime. We got the crew with us. We got see everybody. The scene of the crime, hey, boys. Okay. If we go in up here, I don't know, maybe three, 350 yards or so is where I was sitting up. And then he jumped in this bottom and went up. But I want to go to the, the shot yeah, yeah, and then we'll go from there. Do you think we should circle around or do you think we're good? If we go in here and up, we're good. Okay. We should be good. Okay. Just watch your step, in case you Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right up here. That's, your tree. That's your end? This is the one I was in. That way? So you tell you tell us where where no. to go. So Jerry, go up there where he tells you to go. This is the tree I was in. Just tell Jerry where to stop. Straight.
going just a little bit. Jerk. It might be that way some. Fairly confident with right, that. Right in there. Okay. Let's take a look. Right here's where he was standing when I shot him. Okay. Well, oh. you got blood? Yeah. blood right there. Okay. I just say start tracking. You okay. might want to knock him out. Might I, not be a bad I will only get down here. Because I can yeah. see him. You two just go first. Okay. Yeah. On that long, so he went right through there. This is probably where I lost him. Once he got down a little bit. It's right there. Yeah, it certainly was your final. Yeah, he stood here a while. He's been stopping a lot. He's so spraying out. Yeah, he's seen the bag of the food stop. Make sure you guys get video of that. Over that long. Yeah, yeah, I see he's right here. Oh, he's right there, boys. He's right there, Kevin. Let's go, baby. He didn't go very far at all. Let's go. Deer down in camp, baby. Deer down in camp. Okay. Matt, give me some, baby. Deer down in camp, baby. That's a beautiful deer. Take him down. Someone tackle him. Kelly! That's a stun, baby. Dude, that's a tank, Kelly. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> At a boy. I'm God. so happy. Dude, look at that oh. thing. Is the arrow still in him? No, it broke off right there, but oh. the other half's in him somewhere. Gav! Are you kidding? Dude, that's a tank! Are you kidding? Is that closer to the 130 mark? <laughs> Shoo! Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, that is, so that is in the oh. freaking <laughs> Dude, that's a stud, dude. Oh, man. Look at it. He's been tearing stuff. Kev! Man. I told Sarah we might have a taxidermistville if I find him. <laughs> oh, that's You're, a taxidermistville. Dude, if you don't mount that, I will. You will for me? No, I'm <laughs> saying uh, I, I, I'd punch you or something, dude. That is... Dude, I am Kev! So that's a nice deer. Well, boys, dude. we just ruined the hunting in here for the next couple of days. <laughs> I don't know that. <sighs> I don't believe that. He didn't go near... I figured we'd be tracking I'm sorry, for a I'm while. I'm surprised you didn't hear him crash. I was probably shaking too much. <laughs> <laughs> you old, you old, you old no, bow arrow he, was... He came kind of over a ridge there and he fell down here. You yeah. would, you probably wouldn't... Kev, dude, what a stud, dude. Yeah. Dude, dude, I wish I had my camera going so, but... Hey, hey all right. that happens, man. All right, drag him out of there. We gotta get some... <laughs> you guys do all your picture work and everything, but we'll get him right here. Oh, yeah. of course. Oh, my God. Um, What's a good spot for a picture, boys? That's step two. All right, somebody else hold this camera. I want to get yeah, down there and touch it. It's rolling. That thing around. That is awesome. Like Dude, when, when he started opening up down oh, there, yeah. I knew. Yeah. Yeah. I felt yeah. a lot better about that, but. Yeah. That's awesome. Where's the entry at? Though? Who cares? I, I know, but I want to. Okay, one thing I want to be careful with. Do not mess that, with, not mess that do up. Do not mess yeah. that up because you mount him, that's. Yeah, you want that as. Yeah. Take some tape and wrap it around there or something, you know. That's oh. a chunk of lung laying on that log. Is that the entry? Looks like it. No. That's just where he's been bleeding. Dude, Kev. <laughs> what a deal. What a deal. Give me some, dude. <laughs> that's, that's bud. Dude, I'm excited. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good well, thanks to good Lord yeah, for that one because we were sure. talking about that on the way over. Not many times you walk into a woods blind, <laughs> set up, and have something like this success walk by. like that. No, I know the good Lord definitely. I was I was talking to him this morning good. just for the moment and everything else. Well, Mr. Deer, I want to say thank you. Your back scraps are going to taste good tonight. <laughs> Well, we what you say about if Take we kill two. one, yeah. you're cutting them up? Stay, stay you <laughs> No problem. All right, I'll, t I'll take back my responsibilities. Everybody else get in there and get a hand on them. This is a team effort. Yeah. I already did. Get in there, Black. Get in there and enjoy them. Look at
We need to try to walk up here. He went out there and walked up. Yeah, and then just went He jumped your hands on that thing. The problem was he jumped over too many logs. It got him. Did he go all the way over here, Joe? He went all the way up around. He went all the way up here. God, man. Sure is. All wobbly legs. Hey, look at that. Oh, I mean, that's 10, 11 inch tine right there. Coming up. Oh man, all that. He was oh, just man. shredding yeah, don't, trees. This don't morning. mess up them bases. Oh. Yeah. Mer, what do you got to say? Uh, that's awesome. That's what we came for, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what we came that, for. That just done my week. Called it. Kev, uh, morning, first morning of the hunt last year. First morning hunt this year. We got the repeat. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the problem. I'm about to go home and shave. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my trimmers yeah. too. Can't wait to have you filming with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and just bring that luck right along with you too. I hit him too. Okay, That's been driving me rolling. nuts. I'm gonna drag him back a little bit. Okay, watch the broadhead and arrow that don't. The broken arrow's back there on my bow. The broadhead's probably still in. As soon as that blood started opening up, we knew it. I looked at Matt. Get over. Hey, we're about to gouge me. I looked at Matt and I said, he's got to be in this pile of junk. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. It's right there, ain't it? Yeah, it's got to be... Is it right here? It's, is that it? That might be it. It's there, just blood. I don't see a hole. What the heck? It's in there somewhere. It's just hard to see. Maybe it is up by his face. Up on his... I mean, it was a solid hit. I'm not happy about that. Pull his rack around. Just watch that. Watch them burrs. That you don't get all that stuff out of there. Is that it? Right there? Yeah. Yeah, it's it right there. Shot right below that the sucks. eye. Went right into it like that. That's why the smack is so loud. Yep. Yep. Without that doubt. sucks. That's, that's it. Well. It happens. I know, but that makes me mad. It happened all right, that guy. I know, but and don't that, be too upset. Yeah, he yeah. might have. He might have ducked while you shot and everything, you know. Yep. If, if you I, listen, they drop that head, man. They drop that head and jump. So you, are, you know, if you were, in, he if you were aiming here, I was aiming like yep. right here, you get and it. he just put his head down. Yep. And it, when when he went to turn, because you say he turned straight yep. away and, and yep. ran, if you were aiming here. That's you, not far for him to put his head down. He also yeah. took a couple steps in. So, and you, yeah. Because I was. You probably, was, your arrow was probably going to hit right on. I was going for like, right above like where the neckline would meet like the chest. You know what I mean? Like, right, right here. Right. Because I didn't want to aim too low because right. you you're in no man's shoot. land there. I want to shoot here. And I honestly didn't think he was going to turn anyway where I could get another shot. But that makes me mad. I wouldn't be well, too we'll mad shoot because your... it wasn't a wound, you know what I mean? It was a I know. shot. I Lethal. mean, he died I know. quickly. I mean, that was all going how, downhill. How far was, was it? Did you I track? Didn't, I didn't look yet. It's not an ideal shot, but he's dead. Yeah. Let's drag him over there. We'll talk about the shot. We'll talk about what happened. Okay. We're not trying to hide anything. No. Go ahead. You boys drag him over there however you, you want to do pass. it. I definitely will go up around the yeah. up around here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right over there. Yeah. Man, he's stanky. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Holy cow, I gotta whip that. It's about gagged a little bit. Rub a little that on your face, Blackie. Don't grab your bow and sit over there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait to hear You the wanna wheel. talk about the shot before we yeah. get everything set up? Yeah. Just be honest with everybody, they'll they'll understand. So, so talk about the shot because it wasn't on camera. So yeah. Just start so, from the beginning. So it was at a point me and Black had arrangements that we were going to meet back at the truck at 10. No later than 10. And it was just after 8. And I still wanted to walk this top piece and look for some sign because other than bumping those does and fawns this morning, there's not much sign that I could see from walking in. So packed up my big camera, packed up my arm. It was already in my bag and I seen the dark body deer come through. And it was this guy and he, he was being chased by something and I think they bumped him because his mouth was open and he was moving pretty good. So I flipped on my second angle camera 
grabbed my bow, started ranging him as he was coming in, and he got to 32 yards. And I don't think he was gonna come any closer. I think he was gonna go back up the hill. Cause he, he like came in like this and started to work back. And then he went towards me a little bit and I figured he was gonna go back up the hill. Cause it's like a, a nice easy, it's like a hog back going up there. So, moved my pin to 32 yards and he took a step and a half in. And he, I don't think he was gonna give me another shot. So I shot and it, I was aiming for like, his chest right above like where the neck and body line is like. Spin around and talk right there, like get behind him and talk. So he was facing, he was facing me and I was aiming for here. And we kind of came to the conclusion that he ducked because I ended up hitting him here on the face. So I went back to camp and shot my bow some and it was hitting, would you say, Black, would you say it was like three, three and a half inches high yeah, at 30 three yards? And a half inches high. So with that, and then him potentially duck with- Well, we with, don't know what happened without it being on camera. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm, I'm sure he so ducked and spun and it just caught it. Yeah. Like honestly, if we were to watch the film back and put a dot where you were aiming and on impact, I almost guarantee it would be at least close. Very close, yeah. Cause what happened was 30 yards, you know, he, he was already on the move. He heard your bow twang. Yeah. He immediately reacted. He turned his head ducked. and it just caught it. Yeah. So I'm not happy about the shot, but hey, I am extremely happy with the deer. But here's the other thing. And that's he only went 100 yards. Yeah. It's not like old boy was suffering. No. And he died on his run. Like he stopped a couple times, but you can tell like he Oh, the He was of, dead 20 minutes or er, 10 minutes after you shot. Oh, not even that 5 not, minutes. Yeah. Cuz it didn't take us very long to track him and within, he he was running. Within seconds he was dead. Yeah. So not an ideal shot, not very happy about that, but I guess that is hunting. It is what it is. It, we're honest about it, we're showing the truth, and uh, yeah, let's let's get some pictures. Hey, th th do not let that ruin this moment. No. He's dead. Yeah. Go ahead, talk about yeah. that. So while we were watching my second angle back at camp, you hear the bow go off, you hear a thwack, and then you hear a real lot loud crack, and that's hitting him. We're also thinking that it possibly could have nicked a limb, hit a small branch, something like that. I did have a window, but it wasn't wide open, you know. He was in some cover when I shot at him and could have very easily deflected a little bit and just moved a little bit. He moved a little bit. A couple things could have happened. We don't know. I was definitely excited, though, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Let's get some pictures. Ah! Do that again because Black said what county you were in. Act more excited. So I'm currently filling out my tag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, for real. So I'm filling out my tag right now with the date, the time, um, the sex of the deer. And then when, once we have some service, I'll call it in to ODNR and get the harvest number and write that on here. But DNR. The DNR. Yeah, yeah, we're not in Ohio no more, boys. <laughs> yeah. I'll get the uh, harvest number, put it on here. But right here, we have no service. We can't do anything here. Yeah. So. I'm just getting the paperwork side of stuff done before we really move them around, get some pictures, and we'll field dress them, drag them out of here, and head back to camp. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Black? She'll do. Steaks but, tonight? But I, I'm taking Kevin with me. He's my good luck charm. <laughs> <laughs> the boys can take his hat or something. <laughs> what is he, a nine? Yeah. Nine point. Oh, that's a nine, buddy. That's a nine. She's a dime, son. Freaking pig, dude. Look at that. That's awesome. That's a hog. Yeah, that's a hog. You want to wrap up the video, Kev? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. 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 That dirty dog. <laughs> I didn't know we were in Texas. That thing's a freaking pig, dude. <laughs> that thing's dirty awesome. Dirty dog. Dude, look at it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Kevin has killed the first morning on back-to-back -back trips. So he is riding with somebody tomorrow, and we're going to get the deer gutted. 
Got some pictures. Jerry did some crispy work. Show! Make sure you guys tune into the podcast. Make sure you tune into the YouTube series. Um, we've got like eight more days to hunt, so uh, we got a solid, a solid buck down. I might shave my face tonight, to be honest. Get the old cab stash going. As always, we love you. God bless. Like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. See you guys. All right, so Murr is officially teaching us something. Because we're way back in, and we're going to drag this puppy out. And just shove it through. Oh. Get in the room there, Blackie. Just don't lose it. Oh, are we doing the backpack? No, we're not going to backpack this thing. <laughs> but this will help drag it. If his foot will fit. It'll fit. It'll make the hole bigger. Ah. Make the hole bigger. There you go. go. There you go. This one here I made bigger. Okay. I saw your struggle, brother. Wait, one, one mile. Oops. From the shot? No. From the way you shot it. Point, point one, one. Can be mile. Break. Give me a hand with it. That night, never mind. Oh, point yeah, one, one. Yeah. Oh, didn't there we go. Yards. Well, it did until yep. I got. All right. Now, All the way over the knuckle. You just lash them together here where they can't get out. Oh. Uh. That keeps, you, that keeps you a lot of the uh, snagging. You want to do the woods? Kind of bundles Probably them does up. Make it pretty much. Yeah, it would definitely make it easier. There's less friction. Yep. Less something to drag. That's right. Now just wrap it a couple of times. A little holding. Tie them off wherever. Yeah. Wherever's convenient. You know tie them to the hind legs. Yeah. Who was going to backpack that thing? <laughs> 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 More deer than I want to backpack. That's, what you doing. <laughs> that's exactly how you saddled up the backpack. That's what I thought. It is. It's the same, but not that beast. I've seen that. Yeah, not that beast. I've seen the guys do the do it and then put it on their back. Yep. Them little ones are fine that way. If only we had that oar. So are you dragging them, or you just drag them now, or you can? Yep. Or do you pick them up like with two sticks or something? No, that's what? how you do the front legs and back. You don't want to do that. Okay. That kills you worse than dragging it. But I now, know, now you can drag it there. Most of the friction is just right here. His back there. And it, you, you don't have everything dragging you. Helps. Just keep his head up so you I don't lose anything on that shoulder. I was standing yep. next to the man on each side, you know. and I could smell him from down here, like plain as day. Like you, was, like I was standing right next to him. It, it, it scent had already drifted up through there and was going yeah, up. Just explain kind of what happened or what's going on with that. So Murr, yeah, Murr taught us. So Murr taught us a trick that tie the back legs up with the front legs and then the only kind of friction contact point is really on his back so if two guys drag him you have a lot less snags. to get caught on stuff yeah. snags and a lot less friction so it should be a nice easy drag with two guys pulling on him so we're gonna not hey Mur nice undersold it drag. Mur said he was gonna take it most of the way so it was gonna be a nice easy drag <laughs> Okay, Hold on, I want to get some video. You want to, get, you want to flip his head so that he... Yeah, you'll get that. Sorry. Just remember, so bases and all that good stuff. My dad shot one that had a whole bunch of that stuff in there. It stayed. And it was, oh, it it'll was, stay. It I've got so bucks cool. that, yeah, it'll stay just like that. It'll dry. You just can't get it off right now. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're going up. We go up to this bench and we can go straight out there. Go ahead, Matt, you're all right. I feel like I'm gonna puke here in a minute. After <laughs> I get my turn to dragon. I, I, I shoot his grandson. <laughs> 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 okay, you wanna... Right, right on. Whenever there's a good point to drop down. I think we should take the bottom out, out. yeah. That's it's gonna be was, thicker. That bottom's pretty thick. I think it, taking them straight over this little next little knob and side hilling them down. Do you think kind of go out the way we came in? They'd probably be best. Uh, I think side hilling is going to be the best. Just bet. go, yeah, go towards got, that big oak right there and past yeah. that beach. Just head that way. It gets thicker down in there because the, it's, it's easy on. to go downhill when you need to. It's harder to gain yeah, elevation. Yeah, uh, keep the elevation while we got it. So around, right. let's go right through here. Just straight. And then go to the left a little bit. Okay. Kevin, that thing is a hoss. Yeah, I'm the one dragging it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't shoot it. It's always fitting, right? <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> we don't have work tomorrow, so. There you go, Gary. Might have to work tonight. Hey, I'll throw one of these. Both of them, make it matter. One, two, whatever. As soon as they come back up the hill, we're out of just walk down the hill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think so I can help right out too, here. whatever, you, whatever you need. Yeah. I want to go one more time. Yeah. And then somebody else can take over. Now you I got mean, your first gonna, light cape. <laughs> Ready? There you go. Okay. Ready? Boy, is that easier? That is there, yeah, let me look at that. Yeah, let me. <laughs> See, they're not staying on the same elevation. We're going back. We had to stay on the same elevation. <laughs> I like your sweater vest. Thank you. <laughs> it's a cape black. <laughs> yeah, I'm super man. Hey, dude, boys. He'll do. We're about where we start right now. That is a nice view. Why don't you lead the way for us, yeah, Kev? You're yeah. better off to have someone spotting us out there so we know directly where to get. Is that what you were imagining, Kev? Oh, yeah. <laughs>